Hi everyone, in this video I will be removing Kali Linux from a dual boot with Windows. So when your computer first boots and you're in Grub, you'll need to first go into Windows. I'm going to go to Start, Disk Management. And so I have two partitions for Kali Linux, the 28GB one and the roughly 1GB for my swap. And if you have more partitions, such as slash home, slash var, etc., but don't know which one, then you can go into Kali Linux, open up a terminal, and then sudo fdisk-l, put in your password. And so I just have the one disk here, dev sda, and you'll see all your partitions. And so in my case, I just have the two partitions here, the Linux file system and Linux swap. So going back to disk management, I'm going to delete them. So delete volume. Yes. Delete. Okay, it's been deleted. So there's 29 gigabytes of unallocated space. And now I can expand my C drive and get the space back. Next. Finish. All right, and now I have 127 gigabytes for my C drive. Next, we'll need to go into command prompt as administrator. And in command prompt, we're going to get the boot configuration data. So we're going to run bcd edit forward slash enum and then firmware. And then we're going to look for Kali Linux and it's here at the bottom, Kali. And we'll need the identifier here. So I'm going to copy it and now I'm going to delete it and then paste. And okay, the operation completed successfully. And I'm just going to run enum firmware again. And we see it's no longer there, so that's good. And now lastly is to remove the Kali Linux bootloader information from the EFI partition. So we're gonna use disk part to do that. And then we're going to type in list disk and then you're going to select your disk. So in my case, it's disk zero and then list the volumes. And you're going to look for your EFI partition. In my case, it is the 100 megabyte partition here, FAT32. And if you're not sure, you can go back into disk management and confirm. So here's my EFI system partition going back and I'm going to select volume two. And now we're going to assign a drive letter to volume two. So we're going to do assign letter and you're going to pick a free drive letter. And if you're not sure and you use one that's already in use. So for example, if I use the D drive, which is already in use for my DVD ROM and I hit enter, it would just say the specified drive letter is not free to be assigned. So going back and then I'm going to assign it to Z drive and it says it's successfully assigned. So I'm going to exit out now. Go into the Z drive, DIR, and go to EFI, DIR, and then we see here Kali, DIR. So we're going to remove this, go back out, RMDIR, slash S, and then Kali. Are you sure? Yes. And then DIR. Okay, and it has been removed, and now I'm going to reboot. All right, no more grub, and it's rebooted directly back into Windows. So that's how you can remove Kali Linux from your dual boot setup with Windows. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.